Hi, I'm Kiki from Kika Goods. Today we are going to unbox Cup Rabbit's A Dream of Dunhuang series plush blind box. Before diving in, let's see the previous Cup Rabbit series. You can get them from our online store. And don't forget to hit subscribe button in the lower right corner for more unboxing reviews. I really love this bright red box. As you can see, it's so exquisite, almost like a gift box. This time, let's dive into the world of Dunhuang culture together. The cute rabbit on the cover is also very vivid. On the side, with a total of six regular styles and one hidden style. Let's hope we'll get the secret figure this time. You see, even the bags are so detailed and full of Chinese style. Now here is the first one. Guess what's inside? Wow, I can't believe how much better it looks in person. It's truly like a piece of art. I'm so excited to take a look at all these details. What really catches my eye is those huge pink ears. They're incredibly long and fluffy, with a great texture. There's a subtle floral fragrance drifting through them. I'm not quite sure which flower it is, but it smells absolutely wonderful. Even cooler, these ears can be posed in different ways. That's the reason that I'm a big fan of this series. And then there's the ribbon. Did you notice the electroplated colors on it? It's a really, really pretty thing. I guess this is supposed to be its tail at the front. It's also fluffy and feels comfortable to the touch. And on the back, there's a large golden lotus flower. This is a classic symbol in Dunhuang culture. And I do feel the lotus base adds an air of mystery and magic. Anyway, what a playful and cute little rabbit. Okay, box number two. Let's open it up and appreciate it. Oh, I got what I wanted. It's so cute, absolutely. I want to say, the Cup Rabbit series never fails to bring unexpected surprises. This one also has a subtle fragrance. And in fact, each figure in the series has its own unique scent. You've probably noticed that its hairstyle is different from the first one, with two cute little buns that has a great detail. And I'm especially fond of the delicate moon hair accessory because it's full of exotic charm and is just so captivating. I think you might need to take a closer look. The flute it's holding even has tiny holes, and the attention to detail is absolutely flawless. You can see it standing on a cloud, with the bamboo flute in hand and its ribbon flying, looking as if it's come straight from a fairy land. To be honest, every single detail is simply stunning. We're going to open up this one now. This shade of yellow is absolutely stunning and really impressed by this figure. Anyway, I can't wait to play with it. First, let's make its cute little ears stand up. It looks even more lively and adorable this way. And then, I wish you could smell the scent in person. It's so natural and gentle. Sincerely feel it's perfect for keeping at home or even in the car. Okay, eyes on here. Its hair accessories are so unique, full of exotic flair, and they look like pretty gemstones. Even the necklace has a similar gem-like pendant design. Yes, it's clear that this little one is skilled at playing the chin. As we can see, it's kneeling gracefully, I guess ready to perform a beautiful piece. Such a multi-talented character. Oh, and I really love the little banana leaf mat accessory. I think this might be the only figure in the series with an extra accessory, which just makes it even more perfect. I really like this one and highly recommend it.
Now, turning our attention to this one. This one is another one of my most desired figures from this series. This rabbit is primarily green, which is both refreshing and beautiful. For some reason, I find it absolutely stunning. Especially its headpiece. It looks wonderful on its head, and though I'm not sure what it's called, which is very delicate and elegant, I believe it would be hard for you not to like this. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the hair has a pearlescent sheen to it. You see, the color of its ribbons, hair, and tail is all consistent, making it very pleasing to the eye. It's interesting that it is on the clouds, also incredibly cute. The back is equally beautiful. I noticed a finely crafted hair accessory at the back of its hair. What a stunning detail somehow. Everything about this figure, from head to tail, really, really wonderful. I'm sure you'll appreciate this design detail just as much as I do. What kind of surprise will this figure bring to me? I am so curious about this one. Oh, it's also my favorite one for sure. What is your first impression of this one? No matter what you think, I want to say it has many pretty details. Firstly, the most captivating aspect is its hair accessory. The golden color and clear texture make it truly splendid. It's quite luxurious. Have to say, the hair accessories in this series are all very exquisite. You see, it even has dangling earrings. By the way, it seems to have a pear fragrance, which is delightful and match my personal style. It looks like it's both playing the Kong Ho and dancing. Although I'm not very familiar with it, I really like the curved design, which resembles a small window. And the few strings it has are also exquisite. For music lovers, they would probably appreciate this detail. So, let's appreciate the exotic culture through this music. Okay, now I'm wondering what the last one is. Will this be a secret figure? Oh, it's a last regular in this series. It's the lute player, but so awesome. Even though this is the last one, I can't help but touch its ears, because they're absolutely fluffy and cute. Eyes on its head, here, its hairstyle is also carefully designed, with floral decorations. The hair color looks understated but is very delicate, including its ribbon. It features golden flowers, symmetrically placed on either side. I'm not sure if this has a special meaning or if it's just decorative. Up closer, it has a small pea paw, with a rounded back and a flat front. It would be awesome if I had one like this. So far, among all the instruments, this one is my favorite. How about you? Although I didn't get the secret figure, all of them are worth having. Thank you so much for watching our blind box unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your fellow collectors. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more unboxing content. This is Kiki from Kika Goods. See you next time.